Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, we are here with episode 3 of In Bloom. Um, I'm going to preface this that if I sound or I'm talking a bit different, I bit my lip so hard a couple days ago and it is in that horrible like healing stage. So it kind of hurts to talk just a little bit but I really wanted to get this episode out for you guys so yeah um we have a lot planned um according to tiktok and my youtube channel and all of that um everyone really wanted Juliet to be the love interest it was a it was like a in between Tristan or Juliet so for final decision, I'm going to leave it up to Daisy. So whoever she kind of like vibes with, I think we're going to try flirting with both and see where that takes us. She just got off work. Um, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, which I planned an event for that. Um, she's going to be having a little dinner party, a little Friendsgiving with her friends and stuff. Um, so yeah, I think today we should just like go and work on our fishing. Uh, I think that would be really beneficial. So we are fishing. She really wants to catch a fish today. So that's what we're going to try and do. Oh, she's getting something. Oh, nothing. Anyways, so next week, um... Probably be Wims will be out. Uh, instead of posting, it'll be out on Wednesday, on Valentine's Day. So instead of having Joy of Life on Monday, I'll be posting it in Bloom. Because I feel like my In Bloom series is a lot better <laughs> than my Joy of Life series. So I'll be posting the In Bloom and Crybaby Wims next week. And then I'll be shooting for Joy of Life on Monday, uh, In Bloom on Wednesdays, and Cry Baby Limbs on Fridays. So that'll be the schedule. Also, if you guys didn't know, um, I released a reshade, my reshade preset over the weekend that I used for Joy of Life and In Bloom. Um, I have a different reshade preset that I use for Cry Baby Limbs. Um... I don't know when I'm gonna be releasing that one because it's still not like perfect yet. But um, yeah, I also <gasps> OMG O M G. He's so cute. I love him so much. Anyway, I'm at the point. Did you catch a fish? Oh, you caught a fish. That's awesome. What else do we want to do? I'm kind of just... Oh, we can... Uh... Okay, girl. Okay, I'm gonna have us... Love on the scope real quick. Oh, they're all coming over here. Look at them. Oh! <laughs> okay so we're gonna go home and she wants to plant something but don't we have a very oh we can plant something right here
And then I'm gonna help her weed and take care of all of this. Um, oh, she also got, like, before the episode started, um, when I got on, it was, like, in the morning, so I had her go to work so we wouldn't have to deal with that. She got a promotion. She got, like, a sprinkle matic 2001 or whatever. Um, so that's cool. I don't know when we'll be using that. Oh, I think we need to clean up that water. That's gross. How are our little pets doing? They all seem fine. Um, I think I'm also going to have her meditate some. Girl. And do we have anything we can harvest? We can harvest these. Okay, so we have her doing a bunch of stuff. Um, she's also gonna have to eat soon. So when she's done with all that. Oh, someone's calling us. I'm not in the pockets of the big wigs and Sam Machino. I'm here to fight for the little guy. Do I have your vote? I guess. I don't know who you are. Ow. I swear I think I'm dying. Um, anyways. I'm also gonna have her make some food soon. And then use the bathroom. But, um, I kind of have, like... I think Julia would be good for the fact that um, she's more, like, <laughs> up-to-date in the tech world and all of that. Um, so I definitely think if they got together, she would kind of push the whole off-the-grid thing and all of that. But also, on the other hand, Tristan... We've seen how crazy in love with animals Tristan is, and I feel like that would be a great fit for the next generation like kind of give a reason as to why they love animals so much I think they're both great picks and also if her and Juliet do get together um, I don't know if I want to do like a surrogacy or you know, um, have one of them get pregnant or like switch it to where like one of them can get the other pregnant. Get to bed after she's done with that. And then we'll do Thanksgiving. So she's awake and she's just doing her normal morning duties of taking care of her pets and all of that. I kind of want to learn more about the lore and him for Bagley and go like talk to the locals. So I think that's definitely something we will do in the future. It is also now 
time to deal with the gnomes. <laughs> so we are home now, cooking the uh, dinner for everybody before everyone gets here, which is really exciting. Are you good, bestie? Yeah, you're good. Okay, so the event is starting. Oh, she's in her cute little outfit. Oh, she looks so adorable. Jabine, laundry tool. <sighs> oh. Uh. Yeah. OMG, your outfit. We're gonna have to change these outfits real quick. Cause OMG. All right, so we're gonna have our dinner now. I really don't know where Mateo's at. Oh, he's over here. What does he look like? Okay, he looks fine. Oh, he gave us a present. What did he give us? A postcard? That's really cute! Oh, gee. That's adorable. <gasps> We're gonna have to put that in our room. <laughs> that makes me want to cry. That was so cute. Let me put it right here. I was not gonna put all of this stuff in the- Forgot. Um, I don't know where Mateo's gonna sit. I think he's just gonna have to eat now. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Oops. So we're gonna talk to Juliet. We're just gonna really talk to everybody and, you know, be thankful. I think he's still gonna come in here. Oh, he's gonna go- Oh, they're gonna go chat outside together. I guess. I don't know what he's doing. We'll be thankful. Also, her Ruhu drive is really hot. So I don't know what to do. <gasps> the cat! No, not the cat. So. <laughs> How do we thank for coming? I don't know how to do that. Oh, she's loving it on the cat. That's cute. Oh, 
Is she flirting with someone? OMG, Dixie is trying to get in on the conversation. We're gonna lecture about begging for food. <laughs> okay, so his sister now seems to be getting along with us, so that's interesting. Okay, so she's starting her generators and stuff. And then I'm gonna have her go shower. And then I think we should go out for brunch with Juliet. And then we'll go out for dinner with Tristan. I think that's the move, it seems like. Oh, well, Juliet is already inviting us. So, of course, we're going to accept and go hang out with her. So we're here with Juliet. I haven't been to this park. It looks very interesting. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and say hi, ask about day. Um, there's a lot to process. This is kind of like fancy. Wait, are there be oh there's like a whole nother level there's so much <laughs> so much oh this is very interesting i've never been to this cool cool um <laughs> oh her style turn-ons are blonde hair and freckles. Let's just take a look at our girl real quick. <laughs> I don't know. I think this like I think this is really going well. I could definitely turn into something. I think this is going pretty well. Oh my goodness. She wants to ask Juliet on a date. Should we do it? I feel like they should do it. You know what? I think we're just going to full send it and go on a brunch, like I said. Alright, so they are on a date now. So I'm going to have them come and sit here together. Sharky Gelna. Gelna. I'm gonna have them talk for a bit. <laughs> Arb. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm telling inside joke. Crimbo Chew. Unga. Tribna. Ah. Tarka. Ah. 
Watanabe. Wasabi's Yavoya Koim. Funichi Parsifei Frobin. Michi Parsifei Frobin Ibao. Sanzizi Katumi. Dom Sabuna Arps. Oh, they're good friends now. Zarpa! Oh, this is a shirtless guy walking around. Oh, fricassee! Oh, shufflet, shufflet! Ooh, Vimpa Zagu. Uh huh. Grovel Hina. Grovel Nurks Dari. Ah. A far. Brapna, Gweevy, Vazoo, Gleeva Zar. Ah! Uh, Vitoina. Yibs. Hanka Thor. Oh, she likes to paint. That's really cute. I wonder if I'm have a. Deep conversation. I also want them to express joy of life. I think that's a cute little interaction. Aww. It seems to be going a lot better than when her and Tristan hung out. Oh, they're both like flirting with each other. My goodness, my sim almost died. <laughs> Someone just straight up almost murdered my sim, but I thought I disabled my tragedies for the save. Apparently I didn't. Um, that was scary. My life flashed before my eyes. I just destroyed him. I did destroy object and hope for the best. Oh my goodness, that was spooky. So I think their date went pretty well. I'm gonna skip to when we are hanging out with Tristan. So while trying to finish up this date, I just got a notification that says thanks to their compatible com thanks to their compatible personalities, Daisy Bloom formed a positive impression towards Juliet Fitzgerald. This will help build a harmonious relationship relationship between them. I don't know what that means, but that's cool. They also have a sentiment of growing closer from quality time. And she now finds Juliet to be attractive. So I just thought I'd put that out there. <laughs> so we are now at the Spice Festival with Tristan. Um... I'm about to see, this is gorgeous. I love the festivals. We should go sample food. They're also gonna attempt the spicy curry thing together. 
see how this goes. Oh, does she not care? Okay, we're about to witness this. How's it going? Who's dying? Oh! <laughs> Poor Tristan. Oh. I kind of want to check his profile too. Okay, so he's perceived as very attractive, but they don't have any compatibility, which I think is odd. Daisy's starting to feel like an expert at flirting these days. Um, at heart, she might, might be a true romantic. Embrace the change. Um, we could do that, yeah. So we can act like ask about the like attractiveness, yeah. This girl is in our way. I might need you to get out of here, girl. So for some reason, this person killed someone. Um, we have a dead body over here. But we're ignoring him, so we can finish our flirtatious nature. Oh, girl. Another one? Why is this all happening today? Jason, get out of here. I don't care. <sighs> the city is dangerous, and life tragedies is proving that right now. I'm so scared. <laughs> so there's a medical examiner to come look at the body. That's cool. We're just trying to have a nice day. Um... Oh, he made like a physical move on her. That shocked me. Wasn't expecting that. OMG. So I'll be ending the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, feel free to give any feedback on how the episode went and how you want it to go next episode. I think we're going to continue um, relationship building with both Julia and Tristan and figure out what to do about that. Um, it's kind of leaning towards Juliet because I seem to just 
get along a lot better. Uh, Tristan seemed to be like, I don't know. He like randomly kissed her neck, which is a little bit, it was a lot. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, I was kind of wanting to take it slow. I really don't think uh, Daisy would be in to the immediate affection. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and bye.